if that's not driving heaven, I don't know what is. Look at this. Dudes, welcome back to another day in this unforgettable journey of ours. Today we're in the Italian Alps. We were supposed to be in the Swiss Alps, but I've been told by two credible sources that the Swiss police are looking for me, that they have my license plate on file, and the second I cross into the border, like just one foot into the border, they're gonna pull me over and confiscate my car. And the Swiss don't mess around. When they confiscate a car, they literally sell it off. They don't impound it and you get back in like a couple days. No, they, they take your car, they take your possession, sell it off. So I'm obviously not dumb to go back into Switzerland. So today, We'll go to the Stelvio Pass in Italy. There's a Stelvio Pass in both the Italian side of the Alps and the Swiss side. So we'll be staying in the Italian side today. The Italian cops are a little more friendly. Had a couple run-ins with them and you know what? They've, they've been amazing. Yeah, I've shown them with respect and they, you know, they've reciprocated the respect back. So it, you know, it's been very nice my encounters with them. And now, if you haven't heard about the Stelvio Pass, you should probably watch the Top Gear Special, the greatest driving roads in the world. About 10 years ago, they had a special, a Top Gear Special, where they took a GT3 RS, Super Leggero, Gallardo, and an Aston Martin to find the greatest driving roads in the world. They decided collectively that the Stelvio Pass is the best driving road in the entire world. So 10 years ago, I fell in love with this road. I've always wanted to come here, and today I get to live it out with my beautiful Mercilago. And fun fact, I fell in love with the GT3 RS while watching that episode. So maybe one of you guys will fall in love with this Mercy logo while watching this episode. I think that'd be kind of cool. Look how beautiful it is here. So we're going to climb about another 5,000 feet. I was in the Swiss Alps last year at Verbier skiing. I can only imagine what it's going to be like in this car. These roads are absolutely beautiful. Fortunately, I still have my check engine light. But you know, fingers crossed, everything goes well. Guys, we pulled over in this little town called Bormio. It's right before we get to the Stelvio Pass. We pulled over here because as you can tell from all the clouds, it's gonna start raining pretty soon. So we're probably not gonna be able to get drone shots all the way at the top, but at least we'll get it over here for you guys. Look how beautiful the scenery is. Snow back there, some up there. Imagine living in one of these houses. People actually live here, that's so insane to me. I can't, I can't, I can't process that. It's crazy. Look how beautiful the Mercy Lago looks. By the way, we got these new Cymbalo wheels. Shout out to Marco and Rob from Cymbalo for sending me these wheels. I got white on this side. And I listened to you guys. I read the comments. You know, I was going to go with all white, but a lot of you guys said go black on the black side, which I did, and white on the white side. So thank you to you guys for all the advice. What else should I do with the car? Do not say V12 twin turbo, because I'm not doing that. Nothing sounds better than a naturally aspirated V12. Twin turbos on this car would ruin it. I will never do that. driving heaven <laughs> i don't know what is look at this guys come on man this is out of this world holy hell look at that i honestly feel like i died and i came to heaven the only problem the only thing i don't like about some of these turns is they're too sharp especially for this car i have to use up both lanes not, not that there's much of two lanes here it's more like one and a half lanes but look this sharp turn 
not peak this fast. And I actually have my nose lifted because otherwise the wheels rub against the fender well. But the scenery alone was worth this drive. It is too slow. Couple of leases and exiges, dude. Guys, come on, man. <laughs> Do I even need to say anything? Natural spring water just flowing. Look how green and lush it is. Cows in the background, a bull in the background. Ferruccio Lamborghini's old tractor over there. A church. Snow. Oh my God. What a beautiful valley. This is out of this world. We got uh, grandpa and grandma over here checking out the uh, Lamborghini 100%. They're gonna want a picture with the car. Yeah, it's okay. Even got a donkey over there. Houston, what's up, dude? Little donkey. Just kidding, bro. You know I love you. Houston, man, I really wish you were here, bro. You were supposed to be here, but you only fly first class, and the flight ticket was too much, I guess. You should have came. You should have stuck your ass in coach and been here with me. <laughs> Oh, 
officially at the highest point in the Selvio Pass, as you can see, snow all around us. This is the highest point of the Italian Alps. We're now headed into Germany, so we'll see you guys there. My dudes, we just crossed into the German side of the Stelvio Pass. Look at this. We were all the way up there. Well, you can't really see, but we were that high up. Found this random restaurant out of nowhere. Mark, you hungry? I'm very hungry. Let's go. You want a those, eh? Let's do it. At least Dude. we know the steaks are fresh. Yeah, and this is this is how you can tell we're about to have good food. Well, this, I guess, this explains why all the food we've been having is so fresh. Grass fed. Not corn fed. This is Wagyu steak. You know why, right? What, this? Yeah, because it's cold. Oh, yeah. Swedish flag. Shout out Svadia. Oh, no American flag, though. Oh. Fucking racist. Damn. They don't like the Americans over here, huh? Shit. Dello Stelvio. Alright, dude. So, as you guys saw, we're at a Stelvio pass. Now, I don't know what episode this footage is going to end up on. We're actually in Austria. We're passing through Austria. We'll be in Germany in about an hour. But. I don't know how we ended up in Switzerland, but we've crossed the Swiss border. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. I start seeing all these Switzerland flags. Look, Switzerland flag. I'm like, are we in Switzerland or do the Austrians just really love the Swiss? So I checked the map and yeah, sure enough, we're in Switzerland right now and I'm literally shivering. I'm, I'm panicking. Yeah, I'm, I'm like really frightened. If I get pulled over for the dumbest thing, it's like a broken tail light or something, any excuse to pull me over. They run my name in my place, I'm I'm going straight to jail. And the car is getting confiscated. So So we're in Switzerland and I set it to come right outside Switzerland. See a border right there to Liechtenstein. So in an hour and 16 minutes, we'll be outside of Switzerland in Liechtenstein, and then we'll be safe. So for an hour and 16 minutes, I've got to drive really slow. Pray to God I don't get pulled over. I'm, I'm like terrified right now, I'm literally terrified. I'm gonna put this camera down. Hopefully the next time I pick it up, I'm, we're in Liechtenstein and not being pulled over by some cops. So I've got to put it down to focus on driving so I could drive with two hands and not swerve all over the place and get pulled over. All right, ciao guys. Sup, mother? We got a call from a friend saying, you're becoming quite popular out here, so avoid Switzerland. You know, the authorities have seen the videos you've been posting, driving a little reckless, so. Yeah, if money gets pulled over, it's done deal, they're taking the car. This road is so tight. Look how tight this road is. Ah, oh, shiza. Look at the car. Shizm shizm fuck. I'm gonna just make a Yui here. Well, it's not a roundabout, but it can be. Now it is. Edmund's calling me, he's like, Mark, you passed me. There he is. Mark, answer the phone, Mark. Mark. There he is. He's pissed. He is pissed. He's not happy. Comment below. What do you think? I'm just kidding. We got attention. Uh oh. They they don't they don't they give you a, a, a license if it is so loud. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's from California. I'm, uh -huh. I'm not supposed to be in Switzerland right now. Yes. I, I accidentally got here. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. I was having too much fun in Geneva doing burnouts. And you guys aren't cops, right? No, 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 okay, no. Okay. All right, because the Swiss cops are after me. I don't know how uh, I ended up here. They saw me doing burnouts and donuts in Geneva. Yes. Yeah, so my friend in Switzerland told me that as soon as I go on the Swiss border, if the cop pulls me over, they're taking my car. So we were in Italy. We wanted to go around Austria to Germany. Yes. But I took a wrong turn. Now I'm in Switzerland. So. Yes. Um, but if you go in, if you want to go to, to Austria, Austria yeah, yeah. you go to yeah. Austria, yes. Yeah. Then you come to London. Oh, we're 
We're free. We it. Checks out. Checks out. Here, come, come, Mark. So this is the border. Zolamt, whatever this is. I don't understand what any of this means. What is this? Look at this. Alp water. Alp spring water. It's the geyser water, right? What's this called? It's like glowing almost. Okay. We're uh, still in Switzerland, and that's Austria right there. I made sure to park the car on the Austrian side before we're getting out. <laughs> Figured if any cops come, I could make a 40 yard dash. Zolduan, whatever that means. You guys translate. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. Going to jail. Freedom. <laughs> going to jail. Freedom. <laughs> going to jail. Freedom. All right, 33 year old man acting like a freaking shout, shout, <laughs> shout guys. All right, shout. we're meeting up with Cars and Luke tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. We're gonna film an epic cinematic vlog. All right, you want this? What? You want this? Yes. Oh wow, that rain is a lot of rain. All right, it's heavy rain, thick rain. Alvadechi.